Hi everyone, it's Angie from Hello Baby again, and I wanted to do a stitch tutorial on the stitches for the Ihana convertible cowl pattern. Now, what I'm going to do is this video is going to have the stitches for rows two and three, and then there will be another video for the other stitches in this pattern. Now keep in mind that this these tutorials are not to give you the full pattern, but instead to explain any special stitches that are in this pattern so that you don't get lost. Um, now I am using my Furls Odyssey hook. This is a size L, which is a seven millimeter. And I'm using such a large hook because I am using today for my stash. I love this chunky yarn. It is a five weight bulky 100% acrylic yarn and it is from Hobby Lobby. The I love this line is their exclusive store brand so you can only get it from then. This color is called City Beats and I love this color because it almost has a hand dyed look to it. But enough about that. So for row one I've already completed that which is my base right here that I am working on. And then what I'm going to do is, here is my working loop on my hook. And I am going to do a chain four. Let's do chain one, chain two. Now since the last stitch of my next row will be placed in the third chain of this turning chain, I am going to put a stitch marker around my working loop after the second chain. So it will be inserted into my third chain right there. And I'll know where to place that last stitch on the next row. I'm going to do a chain four. And what that does is it counts as a double crochet plus a chain for this row. I'm going to turn my work and then look right here. This is the base stitch for that chain. This is stitch two, and I'm going to come here and do a double crochet into stitch three. Right like so. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to skip the next stitch and go into stitch five. Now for this row, you are going to have a double crochet in every odd stitch and then a chain and skip every even stitch and what that does is it gives you this fillet row just like that and that creates a space for buttonholes when you wear your finished project if you've seen the pattern, you know what I'm talking about with the buttonholes. If not, you can get this pattern online on Ravelry, Etsy, and Ribbler for purchase. Or if you are a supporter on Patreon at patreon.com slash lobabycrochet, this pattern is available on the blog for all supporters and as a PDF download for higher level supporters so all right i'm coming down to the end here all right i'm down at the end of my row i'm going to chain one you see i have two stitches left there is a stitch marker in my last stitch so i don't lose it and then I'm going to place a double crochet right where that stitch marker is. And that tells me, hey, you're at the end of your row. Okay, so let's take a look at this. This is row two for the Ihana convertible cowl pattern. And I'm going to move right into row three. If I pull that stitch marker out, you can see my double crochet plus chain one, which is what my turning chain four made. Then I've got all of my double crochet plus chain ones across, ending in a double crochet. So now I'm going to chain one. That is my turning chain. That does not count as a stitch. I, after my chain one, I'm going to move my stitch marker up. 
what that's going to do is put a stitch marker in the top of this first stitch that I create so that when I come back on the next row, I'm going to know where my last stitch is. So that double crochet I did at the end of the last row, oops, I'm doing the wrong stitch. I'm going to do a single crochet into it, just like that. Now I'm going to do a single crochet into the chain space. You don't have to put that stitch into the chain. You can just kind of wrap it around to make it easier. Then I'm going to do a single crochet in the top of the next double crochet, just like so. And then another single crochet into the chain space. And I'm going to do that all the way across. Chain space right here into the top of the double. Now, drop my yarn by accident. There we go. This, when you're doing this row, it's a good time to double check your counts. If you haven't done so already. Sometimes I get going really fast and I forget a chain. Oops. And you have a choice at that point. You can either frog it back which if you don't know the terms, frog means to rip it and undo your stitches, go back to the point of your mistake, or honestly, if you want to hide it, just add an extra single crochet in between the double crochets in the space that the chain would be, unless you are putting a button right there in that particular spot, it should be okay. And unless you point it out, most people are not going to see the mistake. Now, if this is for you, you're gonna know the mistake is there and that may bug you like it does me. So nine times out of 10, I frog it back. Okay, so this is my last double crochet. This is my chain four that I did at the beginning of row two. So I am going to put a single crochet around the fourth chain. Here is my stitch marker that I put into chain three. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that stitch marker out. You see how it's wrapped around the kind of making a V like a normal stitch. I'm going to put my hook right in there. And if you wiggle the stitch marker, it should rub on the hook. I'm going to go ahead and pull up my stitch. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, as my kids like to say. And there is my last stitch. So here is rows. Put that hook down. Rows two and three of the Ihana convertible cowl pattern. Now, if you haven't already, give us a subscribe and look for the next video which will be the following rows four five six so on and so forth of the ihana convertible cowl so that you can learn all the stitches needed to make this pattern happy hooking guys